Hey gamers, the Red Dragon here from Battlestrats.com, and today we are talking about Red Dead Redemption, the redeemed achievement, which is to get 100% game completion on your stats. So uh, I'm not going to give out any spoilers, so don't worry that you shouldn't watch this video because you're afraid you'll learn something you shouldn't. Uh, you'll still be able to thoroughly enjoy the game uh, while you're trying to go for these missions. Let's start out with the first one, which is complete all 57 story missions pretty simple pull up your map go to every uh, large letter indicated on your map large letters indicate people that you need to talk to in order to complete the story uh, and those are your main missions next is collect all five rare weapons the rare weapons can be found in these two gunsmith locations and these are the weapons that you need to purchase I'm not going to put a price on here because uh, depending on your game and the decisions that you make it can determine how much things cost for instance I did a lot of good deeds and people give me a discount on items so uh, my prices are pretty cheap compared to what they were when I first walked into the store when I first started the game next on the list is outfits uh, these are nine outfits that you need to purchase uh, outfits are some of them are just for aesthetics and some of them actually will aid you in your game uh, and make things a whole lot easier like some of them give you uh, abilities for extra dead eye or it regenerates a lot faster so there are some outfits that could, um, could that could help you along uh, an easy way to um, track outfits once you've unlocked the ability to go find them is click start go to outfits uh, select which one you want to work on if you have a list up and out beside there if you look on the right there will be a button that says track you just press that button and then when you go to your map you're going to actually have a marker on your map telling you uh, which area to go to in order to complete uh, the different objectives that you need in order to piece your outfits together next you must purchase all thirteen houses rent beds do not count as a house so be sure you have all of these houses that are listed here if you need to leave any of these up for a period of time use common sense and use the pause button to uh, pause these work all five jobs horse breaking is represented by a horse symbol on your map and the night watch is represented by a crescent moon next is the gang hideouts now gang hideouts are not just for fun they give you a lot of weapons and loot as you complete them so uh, gang hideouts you really want a, a take on as quickly as you can because these weapons are going to help you along the way and just going to make things a lot easier so be sure that you uh, hit up these eight gang hideouts and these locations next up is get legendary status on all challenges now in order to see your challenges which are survivalist hunting sharpshooter and treasure you click on start journal and then challenges and each one of these will tell you what you have to do in order to move on to the next rank you have to do these in order so if you're working on survivalist you're going and picking flowers as you go it's not going to help you so I actually suggest that you don't do that because it's going to be a lot easier um, in order to complete your ranks if you do them in order uh, one thing that's really going to make your life a whole lot easier on survivalist is uh, these let you know which area to look for go to the general store buy a survivalist map and what you can do is head out to the location of where it says you can find these particular flowers uh, pull up your kit, use that map, and what that map's going to do is display all of the uh, flowers in that location on your mini map uh, for 20 minutes in real time. Now, if you achieve level 5 of Survivalist, that actually doubles to 40 minutes. So you can really get your money's worth out of these maps. You can keep on going back and purchasing them and and keep on using them until you've completed all of these challenges they're not difficult they're just time consuming for the hunting challenges on the link in the description we have everywhere where you can find a lot of these animals 
other things you can do is look at your map if you zoom in a little bit you'll actually see pictures of animals they're not just there for looks those are actually where those animals are located on the map in that vicinity uh, another thing you can do is go to the general store purchase bait that will also help you get these for the sharpshooter challenges I can't stress enough how important dead eye is especially with some of the later stages of trying to disarm people uh, or doing things without reloading dead eye really comes in handy if you need more of it uh, you can uh, there's some outfits you can put on and you can go to the store and purchase moonshine so uh, stock up on that and it's going to also aid you in giving you more dead eye and then lastly you have the treasure challenge locations um, these are the areas if you go to the link in the description box it will show you where exactly the treasures are I'm not going to post them here because that might be considered a spoiler for some people who wish to try to find them themselves you'll also have to complete 20 wanted posters or bounties uh, these are in several different locations remember bounties are a good way to make money especially if you bring them back alive they almost uh, give you double the amount of money every time if you bring them back alive you'll also have to complete 18 stranger missions uh, stranger missions are not difficult once you start them it will show you where you need to go you find strangers by going up and talking to uh, they're represented by question marks on the map uh, and you can start as many of these as you want and go back to them later to complete them uh, so as you run across strangers you could go ahead and start that mission if you like you'll also have to play the six mini games you must come out profitable uh, in order for these to count towards the hundred percent completion you can do these in any order and at any location finally you must unlock all ninety seven map locations one thing that that'll do that you can do to make this a whole lot easier is you can go to the general stores and there are several of them all across the map go into each one of those and you can purchase maps and uh, what those do as soon as you grab uh, purchase a map go and use it and what it'll do is it'll it may take a minute or so but it will update your map and it will then say you've unlocked all the locations in this particular area you will need to probably go to several stores in order to purchase all of the different maps because they don't always carry the same thing another thing is if you go in there and it says not available uh, that simply means that you've either unlocked already all the locations and you don't need the map or if you're early into the game it may be because you haven't unlocked that uh, section of the map yet uh, so that might be a possibility and that's it as soon as you complete all these tasks they are very time consuming you will have the redeemed achievement and uh, a nice extra set of achievements or trophies depending on what console you're playing like I said before you can find a lot more in-depth uh, guide on the description link on battle strats uh, there's also a lot more tips and we're going to be adding to that constantly so be sure to check that out I uh, hope you enjoyed it, guys. Look for more Red Dead Redemption videos coming shortly. Red Dragon signing out.